We are at the High Court with the lawyer Kabila Amumo, who is representing Member of Parliament uh, Mr. Mukwilongo, who has been arrested by the police. Um, Mr. Um, Amumo, what is your view on this arrest? No, I think, I think it's unlawful because I don't think it was necessary uh, to say the least. But also the police has various functions contemplated in terms of the Police Act. And one of those functions is obviously to keep order and peace in society. But as they do so, they have this tendency of immediately resorting to arrest, even when it is not necessary to do so. Uh, a competent riot policing could have easily dispersed that crowd. They sh shouldn't have uh, resorted to tear gassing the crowd. They shouldn't have resorted to shooting bullets at the crowd. They should also not have uh, resorted to, 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 to arresting uh, 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 the guys who, who went to, to protest because you must remember that peaceful protesting uh, is contemplated in terms of the Namibian constitution. In fact, it is crucial to our democratic uh, dispensation. There is absolutely no reason why you should uh, abet protesting by way of arrest. Of course, we went to the police cells, we consulted with, with all those who have been arrested. We saw Mr. Timbrukweni, we saw Mr. Mukwilongo, and what was shocking is that Mr. Mukwilongo, who is a member of parliament, actually went to Chinatown in consultation with the inspector general uh, that he should go and attend to the crowd and speak to them. But to his surprise, he, he was ambushed and shot at and then later arrested. It simply doesn't make sense. The police have also arrested together with the activists, members of the community who were simply passing by. There is an elderly man at the cells, Mr. Mwatile. I found him there. He said he was simply looking for his medicine to go to his farm at Oshanashutawa at, uh, in Kavango. And he said, to his surprise, he was simply attacked and ambushed by the Namibian police and thrown into the van. I, I don't think it's okay, Venner, honestly. Uh, what are you going to do about it now? Look, what we are doing now is that we have, we have called the Inspector General and we put him to terms and we said, look, are, uh, immediately attend to the release of our clients. We have also requested for a meeting with him. If this engagement is not fruitful, we will be forced to go to the court on an urgent basis uh, in order to garner the release of our clients. How many of your clients are now under arrest? Oh, yeah, there are six. Six of them are under arrest and, as I said, there are other members of the community who were simply broomed up and piled up together with the activists. They didn't even know what was going on. And I was asking them, why were you arrested? And they said, look, we're just passing by. So uh, it's a mess, really. Is it, is it lawful to go to a place like Chinatown and start closing down shops or shop owners? No, whether or not it is lawful is an issue of interpretation in as far as our courts are concerned. But what you must remember is, Protestation has an element of antagonism. Protestation has an element of nuisance. That is the nature of protest and that is what makes it so crucial in our democratic uh, dispensation. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.